Storage Babes. If you are new to this channel, thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Turn on that notification bell to be notified every time your girl drops a new video. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to go ahead and you know y'all already know the drill. Tell a friend and tell another friend. Tell your baby mama, your baby cousin, your baby daddy, your baby sister. Day baby daddy. Day daddy. Thank you to all of my 32 subscribers. Um, so I was also telling y'all in the last video, if you didn't watch the last video, stop what you're doing. Stop. Stop. Watch the last video and every other video that I have dropped. So as you can tell by the title, this is a question and answer for my surgery. So I asked Instagram to ask me a few questions about my surgery. And I did get a few questions, and also I had got some questions on YouTube as well. So I got some questions. Today I have this crab. So we're gonna go ahead and get right into this video. I'm gonna take my food out, and then I'm gonna be back once I get my stuff. Here's my juicy crab. You really can't see it, but there's my juicy crab. When you go to juicy crab, you know you gotta get the rice. You gotta get the rice. Like, so I also had some American Daily Juice, even though it's ghetto and I also got my water. So we're just gonna go ahead and get right into this video. Um, my answer, let's see what's the first question. So the first question was, um, who was your doctor? So I also said this in the last video. My doctor was Dr. Williams at 305 Plastic. That was another question, where is he located? He's located at 305 Plastic. I was coming out of surgery. So coming out of surgery, I could say I was, I was feeling good. Like um, I wasn't, the only thing that was wrong with me is I was shivering real bad. And it's because you'd be under anesthesia. So you'd be, we were cold, um, but other than that, I was feeling great. And yeah, it wasn't really nothing. It was, I was feeling great, y'all. I was, I was like, I asked the doctor, like, can I see my body? I was ready to get up and go. Like, uh-uh. Um, I, I wish I had gloves. Um, another question is, how old are you? I wanted to get my baby together, but my family feel like I'm too young. Okay, I'm 21. When I got my baby out, I was, when I got my surgery, I was 20. I was 20, because I turned 21, I had my surgery. Um, I would say, I would say do what's best for you. You know, it's your body. If you feel like you wanna go get your body on, Go get your body done. Don't let nobody stop you because what I can say is getting your body done or feeling happy within yourself, you feel so much better. Like, don't let nobody dictate nothing about what you gonna do. And I know like, you know your family, you know they gonna, have, they gonna say what they gonna say, but don't let that, my elbows are too, but don't let that, determine what you're gonna do because my mama she was with me every step of the way for my surgery but you know me and my mama is also tight so i can say some parents they don't be they don't they don't be liking it but if you spending your money on me do it like but i am 21 so oh. Do you have any scars? Um, so, no, I don't have any scars. I just have my incisions. Um, I have two on my back and two under my stomach. Now, I'm so clumsy. So I have, this stomach make no sense. So I don't have any scars, but my incisions, um, they're definitely kind of like medium size in my back. They're gone from under my stomach. I don't have any scars from my surgery though. So that's a good thing. Most definitely. Um, the pain level. I can say from one to 10. Um, 
my pain level would be um, I would say a five yeah I would say a five because I really wasn't in no pain y'all I'm telling y'all I got up like I got up like it was no other like, I should have called my mom when I got out of country, I called my mom and was like is my butt big am I still look good how I look how I look she kept saying this to me wait till you get to the living house I'm like girl I'm not to but so like I was I walked by myself I got up I did everything by myself. All the thing I do, couldn't do all the way is shower by myself and put my faha on. Like back on after the massages. Mm -mm. Um, this one says, how long was the healing? Um, I would say my healing process, my, I felt like my healing process was fast, but like I said, every, and everybody's body, bodies is different. But had the cell saver, y'all. So, the cell saver is when they take your blood out, during it, and then they put it back in. I have a, um, and I also said this in the last video, I have a low hemoglobin. So, they took the blood out from, so the cell saver, I had to pay for extra for the cell saver. So, once they did all that, they did the cell saver and everything, and then, um, I... I, that helped my recovery process, but my healing process was, I'ma say, mm, like, I'ma say like four months maybe. I feel like I healed fast. Like, I was, I had went back to work, everything. Like, of course, I'm not healed all the way like I wanted to be, like a hundred percent. You would have seen me. You would have been thinking, damn, she couldn't just get no surgery. Look at her, like. I'm up, I'm active, like, mm -mm. up, active, everything. So. Um, why do you want to get round two? So this is a lot of question that a lot of people ask me. Why do I want to get round two? So the reason I want to get round two is because, like, you don't really, like, some people get their results the first time. Some people, when you get surgery, it get addicted. So, it's like you be wanting to go back again for something. It can be something so little. You just be wanting to go back. So, the reason I want to go back is because, so the doctor was only able to take out, Miami's only able to take out 8% of your fat. I want all my fat taken out. Take out every little thing you see. So, I want to go back and get um, I want to go back and get my stomach sucked out and my back, and I want to get my boobs done because you see, they so when I had surgery, they got bigger. So, I want to go back and get my boobs, and I want to go back and get like a few But I want to go back because uh -uh. I just feel like I need another round. I feel like I wasted all that time. Okay. I need to be snatched, but like, I damn near want to have abs. So, that's why I'm going back. But I get that question a lot. And if you get, if you have surgery, you know, you know, you know. Um, what does your BMI have to be? The BMI had to be, in, I think a thirty. I think it was a thirty-four. A thirty-four. What was the worst part of getting surgery? Oh my god. Let me just take a little sip on it. Part about getting um my surgery was the massages. Y'all, when I say they hurt so bad. Oh, the massages I ain't gonna play with. I can say that was probably the worst part. Because everything else was some like, it was pain you could take. But when you first get your first massage, you be like, you be like, you be like this. Come chill with the man. Like, chill. Like, they be acting like they don't know how it feels. Shit. So, 
I can say that was the worst part, but I think that was it. That was probably the worst part, and me getting up after surgery. I do not like being cold. Like, that anesthesia is some serious. Like, you really be shaking. You be that fucking cold. But it really like, and it ain't even like, you might have to tell like it's a mind thing. That shit not a mind thing. You be that cold. Why you be shaking so bad? You feel like you finna have a seizure. But I mean, you not gonna have to be. You know what I'm saying? That shit don't gotta be. But like, when I was down there, um, it was a girl, y'all, that was next to me. I tell everybody this. It was a girl that was next to me, y'all, and she would not wake up. Like, after anesthesia. Real. Everybody's body's different. So, whenever her anesthesia was just a little too strong for her. So, she woke up eventually. But when they, when they wake you up, they, like, push you. Because you be so in a deep sleep. You be such in a deep sleep. So, when they wake you up, they like, wake up, wake up. You, you, you wake up like, bitch. You wake up like, when I woke up, I was like, oh my God, I'm done. The lady was like, good night, Destiny. This day I woke up, I was up, y'all. Like, I was looking right back at her. I was like, y'all done? Y'all can't be done. I know y'all speak, y'all still gotta go. She was like, no, we're done. She was like, it's the, I didn't even see her. I seen another lady. She was like, it's time to go. Bitch, you, you ain't done that fast. But they was done that fast. Like, the anesthesia, that shit knock you right. That shit knock you clean out. I'm like, oh my God, that is crazy. Like, how, that's crazy how that shit works. Mm. How was coming out of surgery? I'm sorry. I kind of just answered this question how I was coming out of surgery. Coming out of surgery was, it was just, it, I just kind of answered it. You gotta, you be real cold. You gonna be on the anesthesia, so you gonna be real, real cold. Um, and you gonna feel pain. I didn't feel pain, but the girls next to me, you gonna be in a big room. And it's gonna be so many different girls. Like they just they got their body done. And, it would be like, why is people come from? But other than that, you're gonna be good. Did you heal fast? Um, I can say I heal fast. I feel like I heal fast from other stories I hear about. Um, what is one thing you would tell somebody that's getting their body done? Um, I if you get your body done, I would honestly say. Just do your research on the doctors, like before you go, make sure they don't have any deaths or, um, and if they do have deaths, look more deep into the deaths if you still choose to go to that doctor. Um, do your research for sure. Um, lose is like, when you go to the doctor and they do everything, let me tell you how much weight you gotta lose. I would personally say, Lose as much weight as you can before you go because that's what that's how you get better results. Better results if you lose more weight. Like if you go thinking, if you go and say you just ate a sneaker before you went, two days before you went, you know you're gonna gain some of that sneaker weight. Lose some weight before you go so you can be like, lose at least, lose hella pounds. If you 200, get down to goddamn 170. Get down 180 before you go. Wait a wait a like when you book your appointment to go to a doctor, start working out right in there. Alright, that day. Another thing I would say is um make sure you go to a good recovery home. Look look more into your recovery home. Um, you know, ask if anybody you know have had surgery, ask them where they go. Um, and see if it's not far from the place you had surgery. Like I had surgery with 305, my recovery house was an hour away. So just think about me being in a car after surgery. I'm in the car like, we're not here yet. And she was driving a little fast, like, we're not here. You driving fast, like even though I'm not in no pain for real, I still feel 1% of pain. Like I'm still feeling my butt move. 
like but y'all just got it done i'm still my stomach i'm my stomach hurting i'm ready to get up out this car like i was ready to walk y'all i wasn't i didn't want to sit in the car too long so just make sure your recovery house is close by if you go to three oh if you go to 305 plastic a recovery house that i would recommend is me a luxury stay she's she's good she's also five minutes away from 305. I would definitely say y'all right. Um, I'm also gonna put her information here. Not the one I went to though. Another thing I would tell somebody is just go down there with positive vibes. You know what I'm saying? We all do stuff and be thinking negative of it. Go down there with a good mindset. Take whoever you want with you. You're gonna be bored. You really gonna sleep a lot. But take whoever you want with you, good supportive friend or boyfriend, girlfriend, cousin, whatever. But I would just say, go down there on a positive note. Don't go in there thinking, I might not wake up or this, this might be wrong, this might be wrong. Go down there like, I'm finna be in bed just when I walk out. And it's the own period. Like, don't go in there thinking nothing other than that. I will also say, um, don't listen to nobody. If you want to take off and get your surgery, take off and get your surgery. I would definitely recommend it. I recommend anybody get surgery. You wanna go, you wanna get out there and jump out there, do it. You deserve it. You if you wanna feel beautiful, feel beautiful. Like I wouldn't dare tell nobody not to get surgery because it, it made me feel better as a woman when I had got mine. So, and I was, I ain't gonna say I was insecure with my body, but it was definitely some things that I could say I was insecure about. Like, I would always want to wear a jacket mm -mm, to cover up my back rows. Like, but that's why I say, Lose as much weight as you can before surgery so you can have better results. Don't go down there thinking that you would just eat a goddamn 10 piece chicken wing and you got surgery tomorrow. I don't do that. I don't even say can you do that. Another thing, the most important thing about surgery, a lot of people don't understand this and a lot of people didn't understand this. Look at me right now. Look at what I mean right now. Simple. Not the Eat properly when you come home. Wear your faha. Eat, shit, sleep your faha. Don't take that faha. Another thing, get your massages. Stay on top of your massages. I don't care if you're a year. I don't care if you're a year past surgery. Put, get, go get that massage. You being over than surgery, still go get that massage. That massage, that shit gonna help your stomach. Still wear your, I had my fire on today. I ain't took it off. But still wear your fire. And eat good shit. Don't come back home and think you can go get you a 10 piece wing and still won't have that body. It's not all about that. You gotta come home and eat the right shit, drink the right shit, eat your protein. Like, before you have surgery, you gotta eat protein. Eat your protein. Drink your protein. Do exactly what you need to do. The same way you lost all that weight to come down here, you need to come back and be on that strictly and work out. Work out that is the most important thing i can say about this surgery shit. you need to work your ass out and make sure you wear that faha and make sure you stay eating properly because you will gain that weight back in the wrong places you don't want to gain that weight back and that's the most thing i can say about surgery that i have learned myself i have gained weight in my neck like i have gained weight in my neck i ain't never really had a, like a big neck but i have gained surgery in my neck I mean, I've gained weight in my, in my neck since surgery. So, yeah. Let me ask, let me answer another question. My fat ass over here in eggs and shit. Now we just about to eat. But we're not talking about it. We're not talking about it, okay? It's you. What's your self say, baby? I answered this already. Self savers when they take the blood out of you before surgery and they put it back in there. I said 
can did you sit down all the way after surgery um no so they give you a butt pillow when they give you that butt pillow um when they give you the butt pillow sit down on that pillow um especially like if you're a person that like to sit down wherever you go take that pillow don't care about what nobody say take that pillow and sit your ass on me my i still got my pillow my pillow upstairs um but make sure you wear that pillow um i don't sit down all the way but i can't say i sit down fast you're not supposed to sit down all the way you're supposed to put your put, so this the pillow and you're gonna sit right here at the tip of the you're gonna sit right here at the tip of the pillow so never sit too never sit exactly on me sit your ass on the tip of the pillow um i know i said last question and one more question what all did you get i got I got a BBL plus black bone 360. Um, the Dr. Williams, he's really good. Dr. Williams, I would say he kind of work on your hips a lot. So I actually have a lot of more, more hips than I did before. But other than that, um, I didn't really want no more hips and I, I just wanted a booty, but when you go to a doctor and they kind of specialize in something already, that's what they're going to do. Um, this is on it. Let me show you all. So, that actually wraps it up for this video. Thank you for watching. Tune in. If you want to get that body done, girl, period. Let me see your after now. Let me see your before and after. I know you're gonna be a bad bitch. I know you're gonna be a bad team. So, if you wanna get your body done, make sure you do all the tips that I told you. Thanks for watching. If there's any more questions, I will do another video. Um, doing just all the questions that I had got on Instagram. And I had also from people I know. So yeah, thank you for watching. Make sure you stay tuned for the next video. I'm going to start dropping more videos, y'all, because I feel like I need to get a little bit more active with y'all. My rich babes. And I also feel like y'all haven't dropped no pranks in. I need some pranks to do. Give me something. Give me something. Work with your girl. And if you want Juicy Crab right now, it was just so good. Go get you some Juicy Crab. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. If you're new to this channel, what's poppin'? You my new rich babe, and thank you for tuning in. And that's on Mary Had a Little Lamb. And drink out water. And y'all gonna be back for the next video. Make sure you turn on that post notification to be notified every time the life and your rich drop. Make sure you go tell your mama, your daddy, your cousin, your auntie, your sister, your brother. Try to get to 50 subscribers soon. Water is power. Let's get to 50 subscribers soon.